acid base or neutralization reactions. Okay, so let's talk first about the definition of an acid. So a very, very simple definition is an ionic compound that contains H plus as the cation. So basically that's a hydrogen without its electron. Now it's slightly incorrect, but it is a useful approximation. A little bit better definition of an acid is any compound that increases the amount of hydrogen ion, H plus, in an aqueous solution. Now, you may see this definition with H3O plus, hydronium ion replacing the H plus. And basically, that just says that an H plus has attached itself to a water molecule, and so then we call it hydronium. That's the hydronium ion. Now, in many chemical reactions, you're going to see hydronium and H plus used equivalently. All right, so what about a base? And basically, that's the chemical opposite of an acid. And a base is a compound that increases the amount of hydroxide ion in, in solution. So here's hydroxide ion, and any, anything that increases the concentration of that is going to be a base. And you're going to see a lot of the bases are, that we're going to see, in this class at least, are going to contain the, the hydroxide ion directly. Now, these original definitions were proposed by Arrhenius in 1884, so we usually refer to these as the Arrhenius definition of an acid and a base. Okay, so what about neutralization reactions? That is when we react an acid with a base. When we do that, so you can see here, we react an acid and a base, we're going to get water and a salt. Okay, so we're going to learn how to write these out. Now, in chemistry, a salt is generally any ionic compound. It can be soluble, it can be insoluble, and it's any ionic compound that's formed between an acid and a base. And so it definitely refers to more than just table salt or sodium chloride. All right, so it, let's practice a little bit. Let's identify the acid and the base in the reaction between HCl and KOH, okay? Um, so this is hydrochloric acid. So this is dissolved in solution, soluble. That's the acid. So when we dissolve this in solution, we're going to have chloride anions and we're going to have H+. Plus. So there is our acid that increases the concentration of H plus in solution. Our base contains the hydroxide anion, so OH minus and potassium plus. That's the base. Now, remember, when we re write the reaction, we're going to take our acid plus our base and we're going to end up with water and the salt. So the salt is going to be, like if we look at these two compounds, Here's our cation, K plus, potassium plus, and chloride minus. And we're going to put those two guys together. There's our salt. There's our ionic compound. And the H plus is going to react with the hydroxide, and that's going to give us water. So OH minus, see, then we're going to add that, uh, that hydrogen there. And then you're going to have a neutral compound, and that's going to be water. All right. So let's look at another example. Let's take hydrochloric acid again, and this time let's react it with magnesium hydroxide. So again, increases the concentration of H+. Plus. So this is easily identified as the acid. Okay, let's look at the magnesium hydroxide. Here's the hydroxide anion. And notice each one of these is minus one. There's two of them. Magnesium is in the second group on the periodic table, so that's magnesium 2 plus, okay? And we're going to write out the products. Remember, we're always going to get water, and then we're going to get a salt. So our salt is going to be composed of magnesium and chloride. So magnesium is 2 plus. That means we need two of these chlorides to make magnesium chloride to balance out that charge when we write that ionic compound or that salt. And then we have two hydroxides and two hydrogens, H plus, and we're going to get two molecules of water out of this. So watch out for that. When you're writing reactions, you're not necessarily going to just have one coefficient, you know, so a one coefficient in front of each one of these. You're going to have to make sure that everything is balanced. Now, uh, again, just to reiterate, the salt in this equation is the magnesium chloride. 
Okay, so let's look at a neutralization reaction with a reactant in the solid phase. So this can happen too. It doesn't have to be soluble in water. So if we react hydrochloric acid again, and let's look at iron hydroxide. So again, each OH is minus one. So this is iron three plus, and it's a solid. Iron hydroxide is a, is, you know, is a solid. So let's go ahead and again, write out the products. So our salt is going to be iron paired with chloride, and we're going to use as many chlorides as we need to balance out that charge. We know this is three plus, and so that means we need three chlorides here, okay? There's iron chloride, and then you're going to have three H plus, three hydroxide, so we're going to get three molecules of water. Um, now, it, just interestingly, um, iron hydroxide is a component of rust, so some cleaning solutions for rust stains actually contain acids. And that's because the neutralization products, so like iron chloride, for instance, and of course water, uh, these are soluble and they just wash away. Okay, so just to summarize, the Arrhenius definition of an acid is a substance that increases the amount of H plus or hydronium H3O plus in an aqueous solution. The definition of a base is a substance that increases the amount of hydroxide in an aqueous solution. Neutralization is the reaction of an acid with a base, and it's always going to form a water and a salt. So you want to practice identifying acids and bases, and you want to practice writing out neutralization reactions. And as usual, it gets easier the more you do it.